I'm here with my buddy Willwood Mike, and we're here to talk about the brakes on my C10, the polished turd. The polished turd. <laughs> so when you and I talked about this project, you know, there were a few questions I asked you. Uh -huh. First one is what spindle, and we knew what spindle, it was our pro spindle. Sure. So besides that, what size wheel? It's a 20 inch wheel. So a 20 inch wheel, something that you're gonna see the brakes in, right? Yes, absolutely. And then what are you gonna be doing with this truck, Rob? Just basic driving. I live in California, so there's a lot of stop and go. And I'm a lot more into the go, so there'll be more high speed stopping. And okay. I wanted a nice pedal. So once we nailed all those questions down, I went with our 14 inch super light setup. Uh -huh. We went with, if you can imagine, the smaller of the two calipers we do for this because of the type of driving you're doing. So you do offer a larger one than that six piston? We, we do, and that would be if you said that you were gonna maybe take it to the autocross every weekend, okay. you're gonna go to the open track, but I also wanted everything to be aesthetically matching front sure. and rear. Sure, okay. So the other thing that I threw out to you was the different colors that we offer. You picked this. I did, I wanted to go with a satin black with a contrasting red logo. Now, you offer this custom program, don't you? Yeah, we do. We do up to 24 different colors. So those are all things that you can always call us about. Mm -hmm. We can run you through and get you into a bunch of different colors. So you want to talk about the back now? Yeah, I think let's go back and talk okay. about the rears. All right. We went with the same diameter rotor, uh -huh. SRP, same size caliper, but four piston, because we don't use as much rear brake. But then when we started talking about the project, you really liked this, mm -hmm. the electric parking brake. Fantastic. I think I may have done something wrong though, as far as the wiring. When you run the power for this, we went off of the fuse block. Okay. Apparently that was a mistake. You wanna explain? So, so the motor that's in this electric parking brake caliper, it draws 40 amps okay. to hold itself. So it needs a lot of juice. It needs a lot of juice. Okay. So. In our instructions, we explain you've got to run your main power and your ground to the battery. Directly to the battery. Okay, we, we made a mistake and went to the fuse block. So if it's not going to get the amount of juice it needs, it's not going to respond. It won't respond correctly okay. and it'll throw a code. Okay. So yeah, that'll be one thing that you want to upgrade okay. and change straight to the battery. Good to know. But other than that, though, I think it's a fantastic product. Awesome. Cool. And then another question that people always ask is, hey, what's going on <laughs> with my rotor? So, you know, this has been a project that you've been rolling around the shop and yeah. what's happened is the annulus or the swept area is where the e-coat, we do that e-coat finish, which is like a black paint. Sure. It's going to come off the annulus where the brake pad's gonna ride. Okay, so I can't fix this. There's no, I can't drive around with a can of spray paint and every show just touch it up? No, unless you wanna have somebody do that for okay. you. Okay, all right. Well, I got your number. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mike, we've talked about the brakes and what we use and why. Let's bring the truck down and talk about the master cylinder. Yeah, let's do it. So what we talked about and what we chose was our compact tandem. Mm -hmm. It's a newer master cylinder for I us. I noticed that it's a different shape. I'm used to the big oval. Yeah, so it's something that's newer for us, but it's an inch and a half shorter than our oval top. Uh -huh. So in a lot of applications, not so much here on your truck, but in a lot of places, it gives a lot more room. Absolutely, yeah. Especially for shock towers and some other later model cars. Mm -hmm. So we decided on a bore size master cylinder that was gonna be perfectly matched for the brakes and for what you're doing. Sure. We decided to go with a manual brake because mm -hmm. most likely you're not gonna make enough vacuum anyway. Correct. So getting the master cylinder with the correct leverage of the manual brakes mm -hmm. and the brakes you're using, this thing's gonna stop on a dime. And I won't have a firm, super firm pedal like people think. No, because we went with a smaller bore master and that's because we know that you're gonna be cruising the truck. Mm -hmm. So we wanna make that pedal nice and easy so that you're not putting a bunch of effort in it sure. to make it stop. Yeah. Right, well, I can't wait to get this thing on the road and test the brakes out for real. If you guys wanna see more about everything we're doing on this truck, go to classtruckperformance.com. And if you wanna learn more about Willwood Brakes, Mike, where do you go? Uh, go to willwood.com or give us a call on our sales and tech line, 805-388-1188.